coming up on Too Spooky For You. Did these campers capture an alien watching them? And is this man in Mexico being stalked by a bruja? All this and more coming up on Five Scary Creatures Caught on Camera. Number 5. Alien in the Barn The following video comes from a YouTube channel called Paranormal Witness that depicts a man named Russell Elliott who reportedly experienced a lot of strange things around his home. There isn't much information about this video, and I could not find the original source, but I would imagine whoever filmed this heard something in the stable and decided to investigate. You can see him checking on the horses as he's walking around when he hears something making noise. When he turns to see what it was, he sees something that scares him. What appears to be an alien can be seen standing in the barn staring at Russell. Now, I take this video with a grain of salt. With not being able to find the original source, and the way the video cuts out just after he sees the creature, it personally leads me to believe that this one was a hoax. So did this man capture evidence of an alien taking a pit stop in his stable? Or are you like me in thinking that this one is just one big phony? Number 4. Something in the Woods The following clip comes from the YouTube channel Skyjets, which mostly features a guy from Montreal, Canada uploading various clips of his parrot. Though one video on his channel is unlike the rest. In the video, he claims to have heard some strange noises coming from his backyard. He thought it could be a hurt animal, so he went to investigate to see if he could help whatever it was. That's when he saw something that frightened him. Oh shit. As he's searching for what he thinks is an injured animal, he spots something peeking out at him from behind a tree. It appears to be some sort of pale creature, and seems like it ducks back behind the tree before Skyjets gives chase to it. Some people in the comments claim that it could be a rake, skinwalker, or even an alien, while others say it looks like it could be some sort of old-style gas mask. So did Skyjets capture some sort of cryptid in his backyard? Or could it just be an attempted hoax? I'm not sure how I feel about this one personally, so what are your thoughts? Number 3. Hunting Bigfoots. Or... Big Feet? Our next video comes from the YouTube channel Christina Roberts. In the video, she claims that while turkey hunting, she captures a pair of Bigfoots dragging what she thinks is a deer. So you're hunting, and I'm just, I'm so startled right now. I think, I think I may have stumbled across a, a Bigfoot. I'm just not sure. Here, let's see if you guys can tell. I'm just, I'm so startled right now. I'm so startled. Yeah, it looks, it looks like there's two big foots. I don't know, I don't know. It looks like he's got a dead deer in his arm or something. I'm not sure. Oh my god, I think he sees me. I have to go. Now, of course, like all Bigfoot sightings caught on camera, the footage seems to be captured on a potato. You can see what she claims are two Bigfoots walking to the right one of them sitting something down near a tree. Now, do I think she caught some Bigfoots on camera? Uh, of course not. Even though the video quality is bad, I think that these are just two other hunters walking through the forest. And the quote-unquote deer the one is carrying is actually a turkey, as that would actually make sense, since she states that she was out there turkey hunting. Some might say that if they are hunters, then why aren't they wearing orange vests? But orange vests aren't required for turkey hunting like they are for deer hunting, since lower powered rifles are used to hunt small game. So I say that this one is a fake. Though, what are your thoughts? Number 2. Camping E.T. This next video comes from French Dailymotion user Nils017. 
The video shows some young French people camping out and generally having a good time. That is, until the one recording investigates a tree that one of them claimed to see something move. Putain! Putain! Il est mignon le chat! Ouais, il est un peu gros le chat, j'aime pas ça! Je vais me barrer! Oh. Non! Bah ben, y'a un. Tu vois, c'est d'office de gueule! Mais pourquoi t'as laissé tomber la torche? Pour éclairer, putain! What appears to be an alien can be seen peeking from behind the tree, observing the campers. But unlike the stable video, this one can actually be seen moving, and at one point you can see its arm look like it's reaching for something, and it almost appears that it's moving its fingers. Now, I don't speak French, but if you do, I would love to know what is being said in this video. Unfortunately, the video ends just before the camera can see more behind the tree, which is a little suspicious in and of itself. And just because it's moving doesn't mean that there couldn't be someone wearing dark clothes and puppeteering it. So what are your thoughts on this one? Personally, I would give this one a maybe. Hey there, if you're enjoying this video, it would really help out a lot if you could click the like button, as it lets YouTube know to help other people find this channel. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want notifications for the next video I release. You can also follow me on Twitter at TooSpooky4U5. If you want to be super awesome, you can also donate to my Patreon at TooSpooky4UYT. With that out of the way, let's get to the last video. Number 1. Spanish Witch The following clips come from the YouTube channel Ricky Velasquez, where he claims to have captured a bruja on camera. From what I can translate, Ricky says that this property is claimed to be cursed by a witch named Guadalupe. He went to the property to investigate the claims, and afterwards had strange sightings near his house. He decided to go to the supposed cursed property again, this time with his wife, in order to confront whatever was stalking him, in an attempt for it to stop. While investigating the property, Ricky thinks he sees something, and his wife goes to investigate. Dime por qué has ido a mi casa. Ven, 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 ven. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Mira, no se ve. En el teléfono, no mames, se está viendo en el puto teléfono. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es? You can see a whitish figure standing by the dilapidated wall, as it starts to kind of sway back and forth. As Ricky's wife goes in for a closer look, you can see whatever it was move to the right. What makes this strange is, it seems like his wife can't see whatever it was, even though it was right in front of her. Almost like only the camera could see it. When Ricky joins his wife, he pans his camera to the right and nothing is there. A few minutes later, Ricky decides to take a look in one of the dilapidated rooms when he sees something he wasn't quite expecting. No, 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 as he looks in, you can see what appears to be something covered in a white cloak. Upon seeing it, Ricky runs back to his wife. After working up some courage, he goes back for a second look, and whatever it was is gone. 
until suddenly something seems to be thrown towards him. This is my house. Solo yo. Non. So, did Ricky and his wife capture the bruja that had been tormenting them on camera? Or is this all just one big fabrication? I'm personally leaning towards the latter, but it does certainly creep you out. Bonus story. This next case isn't really one I would use for a numbered clip, but I thought I would include it as a bonus story since I thought it was kind of interesting and fits in with the number one clip in this video. According to the information I could find, these pictures were taken in Nievo Leon in Mexico by a man named Juan when he was going for a walk in the area. Some people claim that this could actually be a bruja. Though, whatever it is, it certainly does look creepy. What do you think it could be? And there you have it. Five scary creatures caught on camera. So, what did you think of these clips? Do you agree with my takes on them, or do you think I could be completely wrong? Whatever the case may be, I just hope that none of them were too spooky for you. I will see you guys next time.